Yeah, this race only consists of two Democrats. It includes former state senator Connie Johnson versus current Oklahoma City Councilwoman Nikki Nice. This is the race for the seat left vacant by Senator George Young, who announced earlier this year he would be stepping down. The conservative majority is reversing a lot of the gains that we made over the years. It was time to look at how we can do better with policy on the state level. Former state senator Connie Johnson and current OKC councilwoman Nikki Nice explaining why they want to serve the remaining two years of Senator George Young's unexpired term representing Oklahoma's 48th state senate district. Young announced earlier this year he had become far too frustrated with political fights over issues that did more to divide than unite. Yet that doesn't seem to discourage either of the women seeking to replace him. Um, some of those frustrations I definitely understand. I do also see opportunities as he has seen as his time serving as well. So I think there are some very unique opportunities to, to get some things done for uh, the district. In spite of, of the numbers, uh, I look forward to the Senate being a platform, again, from which to raise awareness about the issues that most impact us and to educate the masses. In addition to state offices, voters in Oklahoma City and surrounding cities will cast their votes for members of Congress. In Oklahoma's third longtime Congressman Frank Lucas is facing two primary challengers, Darren Hamilton and Robin Lynn Carter. Tom Cole in Oklahoma's fourth is facing four primary challengers, and that winner will face a Democrat and an Independent in the general. Two people are currently filed for the Democratic primary. And in Oklahoma's fifth, incumbent Stephanie Bice will face off against Democrat Madison Horn in the general. Horn most recently failed to unseat Oklahoma's senior U.S. Senator James Lankford in 2022. And because this race is only consisting of Democrats, the only chance to vote will be the primary set for June 18th. That's the race for the state Senate seat, District 48. Reporting live in Bricktown, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.